Cadmus is a Rochester biotechnology company with the goal of accelerating the development of novel cell, gene, and virus therapies. And within this larger goal, we focus on a common problem. Despite the promise of all of these next generation therapies, the inability to track them inside research animals and patients slows down testing and further development of the therapies. Essentially, it's like putting them in a black box. The Amanis solution is next generation pharmacokinetic reagents and services that allow tracking of these therapies almost like they were GPS tagged. We offer off-the-shelf products such as trackable cell lines, viruses, and vectors that can be used by research labs as well as services that allow researchers to customize this technology for their specific needs. Our company was founded in 2012 based on proprietary imaging technology developed at Mayo Clinic. Approximately one million in financing allowed us to open our laboratory space. And in 2015, we started pro selling products. And since then, we've seen consistent growth in annual sales over the years. In 2016, we started offering correlative testing for clinical trial samples, which has generated over 750,000 in revenue. This year, we moved to a larger lab space and also saw company growth. For example, our revenue for custom products went up nearly 300%. Total income for the company also increased. Almost, we're predicting at least 25% of an increase over two years. And we increased our average FTE nearly 50% since last year. The future is looking bright. Continued arrangements allow for more FTE as well as continually expanding our lab space. And so we're looking to hire new people. Thank you. So that, um, the 750,000 is revenue is since we started doing that in 2016. So these are um, meant to be some examples of some of the areas where we've grown. We also have a large amount of our business, which is contract R&D or research services. So I'm just not, I'm just including some example numbers here. Um, our total revenue for 2019 is anticipated to be at least 2 million, um, probably could be up to about 2.3 million. So that's what you're calling income here on the slide. Correct. Yes. So we've been self-sufficient since 2015. I think we're kind of in a, a burst phase of growth right now. So I do think we're going to continue to scale up in terms of FTE, though I would say from the beginning of 2017 through the next year, we're probably seeing a, um, more than average growth in our FTE. Um, so we do think we'll continue to expand beyond the next year, um, but maybe not quite at that same burst rate. Sorry, what was that? How automated is your solution? Um, so we do rely fairly heavily on our employees. Um, you know, we like to say that's our biggest asset right now. A lot of the work and the revenue that we do generate is from um, the custom contract research. And so obviously we need the scientists that are able to go in and perform that research. Um, so as we get more business, essentially we are going to need to hire more people. <laughs> 